In this screencast, uh, we'll uh, discuss the question of what is computation. So let's suppose that um, we have uh, NL program. If you're not familiar with uh, uh, programming language L, and that is a computational formalism that uh, we're using uh, in this class, then you can watch uh, uh, the previous screencasts on this uh, channel. So let's assume that we have an L program uh, and it has N instructions. So uh, the question uh, um, very relevant to um, any computer scientist is what is computation. And obviously this is a context uh, sensitive question because uh, the answer to that question uh, depends on the context in which it is being asked. Um, so for example if we have a digital device then we're going to have one answer to that question. If we have a quantum computer then the answer uh, to that question may be completely different. So um, in our context we um, have a sequence of snapshots. That's uh, snapshot number one, instantaneous descriptions of program state uh, of uh, the program states. Um, so S1, S2, S3, and then uh, SK. So this is a uh, finite sequence of uh, snapshots. And um, we're going to make, um, uh, put some upper bounds, lower and upper bounds on the value of i first. So for i, uh, greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to um, k minus 1. We're going to assume that um, every subsequent uh, snapshot in this sequence uh, can be effectively computed from the previous snapshot by the successor function that we defined in one of the previous screencasts and you can search this channel and uh, find the definition of uh, that function. So it's a function that takes uh, a snapshot uh, and uh, computes its successor. So uh, S2 is the successor of S1, S3 is the successor of S2, um, uh, uh, and then SK is the successor of the previous uh, 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 snapshot SK minus 1. So this is the first uh, assumption. And the second assumption, and this is um, very um, important, SK is uh, terminal. So um, we have previously discussed um, uh, terminal snapshots, uh, and it's a snapshot um, whose next instruction uh, to be executed is um, uh, n plus 1. Right? In other words, it's uh, the number following the number of the last instruction of the program. So in the top left corner, there's a program. It has n instructions. And uh, for a shot uh, to qualify as terminal, um, uh, i has to be equal to n plus 1. This is to be the number of non-existing instructions. So there's nothing else to execute in the terminal snapshot because the next instruction does not exist. And S1 uh, doesn't have to be the initial snapshot. And uh, Technically speaking, we can start the execution of the program from any legal uh, snapshot for that program. So, um, so that's the computation. Okay, um, It's a finite sequence of snapshots, and this case terminal, right? And each subsequent snapshot can be obtained from the previous snapshot uh, through the successor function. So uh, that implies two important properties of computation uh, that we will assume for the remainder of this course. Number one is that computation is deterministic. Successor is a function. So given a snapshot, uh, there is um, one and only one uh, snapshot that can be computed from that, uh, uh, from that snapshot. So unless it is terminal, of course. So um, in which case, it's just going to map to itself. Uh, 
And the second uh, characteristic is that the computation is finite. Okay, so uh, there's deterministic, right? So every subsequent snapshot can be deterministically obtained from the previous snapshot by the succession. And then the second uh, property is that k is a finite number, some some natural number it can be big. And uh, obviously, uh, we can be justifiably uh, 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 challenged on, uh, um, especially you know whether the computation is finite, right? So let's say that. Uh, a roboticist may uh, point us to a robot. Uh, so this is this is a uh, this is a robot, and say, well, I don't believe that uh, computation is finite for this device. So uh, is it is it really really finite? Um, I don't believe uh, I don't believe so. Um, so uh, because um, um, so computation finite. That's the uh, computation finite that's the question that um, might arise um, and it's a very good question um, uh, because in uh, many uh, uh, robotics programs uh, the robot wakes up and then it immediately goes into this um, infinite loop where he uh, where it senses then acts on the sensory data and then it senses again, so it loops back to the sense. So sense act sense, um, a loop, right? And uh, well, say well that says uh, this is an infinite loop, right? And well, it, it is on the face of it, it is true, right? Uh, however, we can always point out to that roboticist that the robot does have a battery, and uh, the battery's life is finite. And uh, so no matter how long the robot runs, the sequence of snapshots will be finite. So next important question, what do programs compute? And in our context, it is L programs. Uh, so let's say that um, we have an L program. And the question that we want to consider, what does uh, what does P compute? And we have to consider, um, well, two different scenarios, um, right? Um, uh, programs do have infinite loops, uh, and there's nothing that prevents an L programmer to write a, a program that goes into an infinite loop. Uh, deliberately or uh, by mistake. So uh, there are two two cases that we have to consider, two scenarios rather. The first scenario is that there is a finite sequence of loop, uh, a sequence of snapshots uh, that qualifies as uh, uh, as computation according to the definition uh, that um, we were just analyzing, right? So it is deterministic, it is finite, and every uh, previous uh, subsequent snapshot can be obtained deterministically from the previous snapshot. Uh, so there is a computation. And the second uh, case uh, is when uh, we have an infinite uh, sequence of snapshots. Okay, um, So this, the program goes into an infinite loop. And since we're not concerned physically with physical batteries, right, then um, we can assume that, um, uh, well, it is truly infinite. It just goes and, and computes and computes and computes. So. Um, in uh, when whenever there is uh, a computation, then uh, the program computes uh, the value of y, right? So we're interested uh, in the value of y in the terminal snapshot, and we're gonna uh, have a, a special notation. So psi of p, where p is the program um, that takes um, m arguments. So let's say this is the value of the first argument, R1. This is the value of the second argument. And uh, all the way up to um, M, RM. Um, so, mm, so this is the value, uh, is the same as the value of Y. It's equal to the value of Y uh, in the terminal snapshot. So there's a computation, um, uh, a legal computation, right? Uh, and uh, is deterministic, finite, um, successive, 
and uh, the program stops and we'll look at uh, SK which is the terminal snapshot and we just look up the value of Y and that is going to be um, what uh, P computed. Okay, so and uh, just a technical, so do not confuse R1, R2 and RM with X1, uh, X2 and XM. X1, X2 and XM are uh, input variables and they receive those values. Right? So you can think of them as registers, as boxes. Okay. Um, so the program receives uh, m values and uh, there's a comp uh, there's computation and it receives uh, and, and it gets the value of um, uh, y so um, the value of uh, psi uh, pi m um, on uh, these inputs is equal to uh, y okay in the first case and in the second case, right, the computation is infinite, right? Uh, well, I misspoke. Uh, program runs infinitely long, so there's there's no computation. So infinitely uh, many snapshots, infinite sequence of snapshots, and in that case, um, it is not defined. <laughs>